Hey, it's Nathan with Grey's Eye Marketing, and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up a retargeting ad inside of Facebook's Ads Manager. Now, basically, there are two parts to setting up a retargeting ad. First, you need an audience that you're gonna show your ad to, and this audience is an audience that has already engaged with you in some sort of way. So they might have watched a video on Facebook, or they might have visited your website, or they might be on your email list, or something. They've done something with your business previously, and they've been added to a retargeting list, and then you're gonna show ads to them again, and hopefully bring them back so they opt in for something, or buy something, or call you, or whatever it is you want them to do. So. Step one is we need an audience, so let's go do that first. So we go to our ads manager, click the ads manager, all tools, and we want to go to assets and audiences. And we want to hit, hit this create audience button here, and what we want is a custom audience. So select that option. And now, how do you want to create this audience? So there's a few different options Facebook gives us for creating these custom audiences, which are used for retargeting ads. So we could upload a customer file. So if you have a list of customers already, their email addresses, their names, phone numbers, physical addresses, etc., you could upload that into Facebook. Facebook will go out there, find everybody in their database uh, that matches the list you uploaded and connect those two together, and you can build an audience that way. Website traffic, so if you have a Facebook Pixel installed on your website, which hopefully you do. Uh, if not, I have a video on how to install the Facebook web or the Facebook Pixel onto a website, so go check that out. But you can create a custom audience based off of pages people have viewed or how many pages they've viewed and things of that nature. App activity, so if you have a, an, an application, like a mobile app, uh, you could create an audience of people that use it. Offline activity, so people that have interacted with your business in store, by phone, or through other offline channels. So this is through basically the, a similar concept to customer file, except you can kind of automate the process uh, with different tools. And then engagement, so people that have engaged with your content on Facebook. So this is if they've watched some of your video or engaged with your page or so on. And we're gonna actually go through the website traffic step and the engagement step because those are probably the two most common ones Customer file is pretty easy and self-explanatory. You just upload a file and connect the different fields together. So I'm not gonna cover that one, uh, but we'll go through website traffic real quick. So include people who meet any of the following criteria or all of the following criteria. So select what makes sense to you. Make sure you select the correct pixel you wanna use if you have multiple pixels. So let me select that one. And then we've got some more options. So all website visitors, people who visited specific pages, visitors by time, and then we have traffic based off of our standard events. So we got general event, page view, view content, lead, purchase. So we create an audience based off of events people have uh, performed. But I'm gonna go with people who have visited specific web pages. And then we can select the, in the past how many days, and you can go as low as one day or as high as 180 days. So depending on what audience you're creating, why you're creating it. Obviously this could vary. I'll just go seven days. So if somebody visited my website in the past seven days, I want them in this audience. So URL contains, does not contain, equals. So we can go with contains. And let's say that I wanna track everybody that visited my sales funnel book version 2.0 sales page in the last seven days because I wanna put an ad in front of them and try and get them to buy it. So I'm gonna copy my URL here just part of it, come over here, make sure my URL contains this, this data right here. <laughs> and uh, so just like that, so any URL containing that will add the person to my audience. We could also do and also, so and, and, and the same URLs, URL must also match, and so on. So you could do a couple extra things here. Further refined by, so we could do frequency, so it's greater than or equal to or greater than or equal to two. So if somebody visited my page twice, they'll be added to this audience. Or if they visited it 10 times, they'll be added to this audience. Or we do greater than equals, does not equal, is less than or equal to, is less than. So you, depending on what you know options you, you have, you might change this. And then let me close that out. Further refined by device. 
And so you could also create audiences based off of devices that they're on. So all mobile devices or iOS versus Android versus desktop. And then we also have include more. So basically it's this or this, these settings down here, or we could include even more. So you can kind of stack things together, or we could go ahead and exclude people. So we could exclude people that have purchased the book, for example, if we want to do something like that. So several options to make your custom audience. And then we can name our audience. So I'll do visited book page sales page seven days and create audience. So your custom audience was created. It's gonna take a few minutes for Facebook to go through and match everybody up. Okay, next steps, find new similar to your existing users or create an ad using this audience. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and just close this because I wanna go over the engagement uh, audience settings. So create audience, custom audience, and then we'll go with engagement. And there are a few options here. So video, which is what we're gonna do in just a second here, but then there's lead form, full screen experience, Facebook page. So this one's also a good one and I use it, it a lot. So anybody that's engaged with your Facebook page in the last however many days, uh, you could form an, an audience of people that have performed that action. So that's handy. Instagram business profile, event, etc. So if you've if anything's sticking out to you, you can create an audience off of it. Anyway, we're gonna set up a video audience here. So let's go to video and then engagement, choose content type. So video is pretty awesome because you can create a, an audience of people that have just watched some of your video on Facebook. So they didn't have to like click on anything or leave Facebook in order to do this. So you can usually build a custom audience of people that have watched your video for a lot less money than like getting clicks over to your website or website visitor. So I mean, people, so you can build a website of people that have watched at least three seconds of your video, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95%. Of course, historically or typically, the more percent of a video uh, somebody watches, the more likely they're gonna remember your brand, your company, your services, your offers, et cetera. Uh, but if you just wanna build a large remarketing or retargeting audience quickly, uh, you'd wanna select one of these uh, lesser options like three seconds of a video. I mean, that's that's nothing people will watch three seconds 10 seconds is one I usually choose uh, So that way they they actually saw you for at least 10 seconds of their life and maybe you imprinted in their mind So I usually do 10 seconds or 25 seconds But but again, this comes down to testing if you want a highly qualified Remarketing or retargeting list then you'd select one of these down here But if you're just trying to grow a big retargeting list you'd select one of these options at the top here. So I'll just do 10 seconds and then we can choose which videos we want to target people for. So let me go ahead and find my, I'll just load up crazy eye marketing, crazy eye marketing. I'll select this video here just for fun. So I want people that have watched 10 seconds of this video in this audience. So I'll hit confirm. And then in the past, how many days? So I'll go with seven days. An audience name watched 10 seconds of my click funnels video. Okay, seven days. Cool, create audience. Thanks, you're creating an audience. Okay, and then same uh, options as before create an ad or expand my audience. I'm gonna hit done. So there we go, we've created two custom audiences that we can go ahead and set up retargeting ads for. And again, this is for people that have already engaged with our business in some way, shape or form. In this one, they visited my website, in particular, this sales page right here. And in this one, they watch at least 10 seconds of my video on Facebook. And uh, yeah, so I could go ahead and put ads in front of the people that have done these actions. So let's come over to our ads manager now. I'm gonna go through this ad creation process pretty quickly and point out what's important to retargeting. I already have a video on how to create an ad, so if you need help with that, there's a link above or down below so you can go watch that video, but I'll point out what's important for retargeting. So create, and I'm gonna to switch to quick creation real quick. And we're just gonna do retargeting example. Buying type, we're going with auction. Now for campaign objective, uh, there's different theories of thought on this right here. Uh, so Facebook historically, or they say that they need 50 conversions or events to happen in order for them to start automatically optimizing your 
advertising efforts. So if you're doing a retargeting ad, your custom audience is likely, you know, a couple thousand people. And so getting those 50 unique conversions within a week, that's another limiter. You need to do the 50 conversions in a week. And if you only have a couple thousand people in your audience, the likelihood of you driving 50 conversions a week is probably small. So the, the thought is that if you can't give Facebook those 50 conversions, don't select conversions if that's what you want. Instead, select something like traffic or potentially reach. So that's, there's a lot of debate here and I recommend testing the different objectives. Uh, I'm still a big fan of telling Facebook exactly what you want, even if you're not gonna get those 50 conversions in a week, but you want conversions, then select conversions. So that's what does the best for me historically. Uh, but again, you can test out these different objectives and see what produces the best results for you. So I'm going with conversions for this particular campaign. Split test, budget optimization, ad set name, ad set one, ad name, ad one, save to draft. And I hopefully didn't confuse you too much with these objective things. Basically my point is select what you want. If you want traffic, select traffic. If you want conversions, select conversions. All right, so we're in ad set. I quickly create my objective. Come on down here and I'll point out what's important. All right, so under the audience section here, this is where we're gonna go ahead and select one of our, or multiple audiences that we wanna go ahead and target. So we can select this option. And here's my watch 10 seconds of my ClickFunnels video right there. And then here's my visited book sales page seven days right here. So just like that, I could go ahead and retarget the people that have watched my video or visited my sales page. And that's essentially how you create the retargeting ad set. Uh, you just target these people. Um, and then you can go ahead and you know narrow these audiences down a little bit if you need to. So if you only know United States people should buy your stuff, then you might wanna select that option or different age ranges or genders. You might wanna select what you know only works. Uh, but usually with retargeting, you wanna leave that wide open because I mean, maybe some spouse shared it with the other, their significant other, and they're the, the, the decision maker. Uh, so usually when it comes to retargeting, you leave all these options wide open and you let Facebook figure out who's best for you and so on. So everything else is essentially the same. Watch the other ad video that I have created if you need help setting up an ad. The main difference here is selecting the custom audiences you wanna target. And so that's it for this video. Remember there's basically two steps to setting up a retargeting ad. First, you gotta have your audience and that could be based off of engagement on Facebook or page views or a list you upload or an app activity. And then you need to make sure you select that audience when you're setting up your ad set. And that's it for setting up a retargeting ad in Facebook's Ads Manager.